What is up, y'all? It is a windy, chilly day here. If you guys have not seen the last video, it was probably one of the most important videos I've ever made. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I freaking love this thing. The future is just it's looking so exciting, man. I appreciate all the positive comments on that video as well. I just, like, ah, oh, it's just so exciting, man. Again, if you didn't see the last video, make sure to go check that out so you know what we're talking about. All right, so today we drove down here to the beach. It is absolutely frigid out. With that wind, it is, like, straight brick. We are hopefully going to be catching some food and then chefing up the best meal we've ever made before ever. Like, seriously, if everything goes right this is gonna be fire dude chef first state's about to come out in full force earlier before we came here i took a little trip to my local dick's sporting goods we finally got it man Wah! the clam blaster 5000 all right so i know what you're thinking it might not look like much right but this thing right here is supposed to be like really freaking cool hopefully i've never used one of these i have no freaking clue if it's actually gonna work or not it was like freaking 40 dollars basically this is like a clam plunger clam sucker whatever you want to call it now again i've never used one of these before i don't know if it works i don't know how it works but we are going to test it out today here on the local delaware beaches now if that doesn't work i got some other stuff up my sleeve either way we have to get the ingredients for the meal mm, that is icy we had like a nor'easter here yesterday i could really use some of those freaking hand warmer things but i'm gonna put some more layers on we're gonna throw the waiters on we're gonna get everything strapped up get out there on the beach start digging Ooh, all right venturing out to the tundra what what uh okay so this is interesting look at these like there's waves usually uh this is not wavy all right uh, uh hmm. water is like super high that is a lot freaking better all right it's been a little while since we came out here but look at this the wind is like died down almost all the way we got some clear bahamas looking water one thing though today i am not alone there's actually Decent other amount of people out here are climbing. I've never actually been here when other people are climbing, especially in the winter months. Right, these islands look untouched over here. It's pretty lowish tide. I think it's starting to come in now though, so we gotta get to work here. See where the hole's at. I'm just excited to see if this thing actually works. We have a dude over there with a the shovel. We got a dude with a rake. We are the only ones out here with the sucker. I don't see any holes, dude. What the heck? Okay, here kind of looks like a hole sort of all right first test so again this is just oh, ow this is like a hollow pipe i'm gonna put it right around that hole i think all i do is one of them and then where's the hole Thing in there that actually freaking worked dude i don't know if there's anything in there oh my gosh it's a little bit of a workout all right we gotta find the holes dude this looks okay no yeah we know we got some holes here i guess the main thing with this is that you have to get it right over the uh claim that's in there oh my gosh have we got anything hello First impressions of the clam soccer. Oh, it's a big, it's a big kind of hole right here. Let me try right down here, dude. This thing is very. Uh, this is a workout. Whew. Hello. What is that? What the heck did I just dig up? Bro, what is that? Oh my god! If any of you guys have any idea what the freaking heck this is. Please let me know in the comments below. We sucked something up. This thing looks freaking weird. This is this like a sea slug? Yeah, I seriously have no freaking clue what that thing is. All right. Um, well, that's something. Okay, now what is that? Let's try to get it over here a little bit. Is that a bloodworm? You guys see that thing right there? I think that's a freaking bloodworm, dude. All right, the more I'm sucking out of these holes, the less I want to... Stick my freaking hands in them. I mean, this is just laying here. We got some of these last time and the past couple times. Hey man, we'll take some razor clams. We'll take some normal clams. That's actually pretty cool though. I think that was a blood worm. For those of you who are not familiar, if that was a blood worm, those are like super, super expensive bait. One of the best bait really for the bay and the ocean around here. I swear, every time I come out here, things get more and more interesting. What the heck? What are those? Bro, I'm getting freaking clickbaited. What is that? Watch this be some kind of delicacy. This is another one of those freaking weird old freaking weird. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh, did I puncture it? 
Oh gosh. Um, I don't know. What is that? That looks like a freaking, like a soft plastic, like a fishing lure. I just sucked that out of the ground. Not sure if that's alive. What is going on here, dude? Where's the freaking clams? Sucking up the whole sand underworld. Yo, what is going on here? People are down there on the beach. Looks like they're like riding horses. I didn't even know you could do that here. Imagine how fast we could ride down, suck all this stuff out of the water. Hello, 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 hello. Where are the clams at Blue Gill Boy? I know you've been going fishing every day and it's cold as freak out and nothing has been biting. You suck at clamming too, I guess. How hard is it to suck clam out of the earth? Lol, I got you something. Oh my gosh. Camper, you know, that is the most thoughtful thing. Clams in, oh, clams in clam juice. What do you think of that? <laughs> Definitely not uh, the fresh uh, sucked out of the ground. You know what though, you just might be onto something. Back in the kitchen with Chef First State. Let me just tell you something. I've been fighting the elements, man. Clamming, fishing. Mother Nature doesn't want us to win, but when Golden Retriever brings you clams and clam juice. There's only one thing you could do, right? No weather is going to stop these catch and cooks. Yeah, this feels good, man. Chef First Aid back in the kitchen. My assistant chef camper is uh, over on the couch chewing a deer antler. Hello, sir. I just want to start off here in the laboratory by first saying happy holidays to all you guys, man. I also just want to say that we are in the midst of moving and it, everything's just hectic right now. My brain is like a freaking explosion happened. There's literally like so much stuff going on and the apartment is the same way. Just like an explosion happened. There's stuff everywhere. So if you see like a bunch of stuff. I'm just a guy. I really miss doing these catch and cooks. Hopefully we're going to be doing a lot more very soon. Let's just pretend we were out there and we sucked up some clams. If you guys want to see me catch some clams, I uploaded a video not too long ago. I'll put it like a link to it up here. And I have a couple other uh, clamming videos on my channel. I'm just kind of getting into it. I don't really know what I'm doing with the whole coastal forging clam sucking. Like, I mean, that thing sucked. Not in a bad way, but it just didn't suck what I wanted it to suck. What the heck were those? Like, it was like a big slug thing. I like punctured the one. I don't know, we were freaking sucking up everything but what we wanted. I'm wondering if like, since it got way colder out, if the clams dug down like even more. Maybe there's just a bunch more people clamming there or maybe I just suck clamming. I don't know. I have some other spots that I kind of want to scout out around this area. So uh, yeah, we caught a bunch of clams. I literally didn't even know they sold these in the cans, the clam cans. Well, I told you guys, man, we are going to be attempting to make the best thing we've ever made here on this channel. We have made some pretty good stuff, especially the crab bisque. If you guys didn't see that video, we caught some crabs and we made some fire crab bisque. We made some fire, uh, what was that? It was a couple months ago. Like we made the crab like dip stuff. Cheesy crab dip. We've actually made some fire food. Flaming hot Cheetos trout, flaming hot Cheetos flounder. Today though, we are making clam chowder. New England, I believe, style clam chowder. The ultimate catch and cook. We're just too good at clamming, man. Mother Nature's trying to nerf us. All right, man, let me stop talking. Let's get right into this. Let's make some clam chowder. That would make Chef Ramsay be like, Mm. All right, we got a pot. You're gonna want a pot. It's a nice pot. Not too big of a pot, but it's, you know, it's a pot. Two, ste te te <laughs> two tablespoons unsalted butter. One onion. Hello? All right, we're gonna let that cook a little bit, but here's a question I have, right? So it says one onion. What is like the standard base measurement for one onion? Cause this onion was like a bigger onion. I've seen some smaller onions. So I just kind of did like a three fourth ish kind of thing. We're following a recipe, but I'm doing my own first date style. I've never made freaking clam chowder before. It's kind of like on YouTube where people just steal other people's ideas, but I'm actually gonna give credit here. Shout out to quick and easy meals, delicious. I chose this one as a baseline because it says easy. That is starting to smell really, really good. I'm trying to be not like too loud here too because Kelsey, uh, as you guys know, maybe a lot of you guys know, probably some of you guys don't know. Kelsey's a nurse and she works night shift and she's in the room over there trying to sleep. So I don't know if the smells of the delicious clam chowder is gonna wake her up or me yapping. We're gonna put some garlic in here. <gasps> Don't drop it on the phone. Oh yeah, I put three tablespoons of all-purpose flour in here. Every time I use freaking flour with the camera, it gets all of it stuff. Okay, hold on. Did I do something wrong? All right, everything was sticking there for a second, but I put in one cup of beef broth. It said vegetable stock, but I feel like, I don't know. Also, we put in some half and half, a little bit of almond milk. This is what we're kind of looking like. All right now nah, it's actually looking pretty good. I think I gotta open up the clam thing. It is time to uncan the clam. Well, I'll tell you what, that definitely smells like the peach. It says to put the clam juice in. So, uh, sure. 
Oh yeah. Gently. Did a little bit of chopping up potatoes. We're gonna drop these suckers in there. We put one whole russet potato in. This is kind of what we got going on right here. It's actually, I mean, it's starting to look like clam chowder. Kind of simmer and you get them potatoes a little bit soft. Again, man, I've never cooked this. I didn't have exactly all the ingredients, but I'll put everything down in the description below if you guys want to try to make this as well. You know, if you ever show up at your house and your dog gets you some cans of clam, you know what to do, man. While these potatoes are softifying, I do just have to say, man, I really, really appreciate each and every one of you guys for all the freaking support. I know the videos haven't been coming out super abundantly as of late. Literally everybody that I know that fishes here in Delaware, like nobody's really been able to catch anything. It's a weird time of the year and it's just like a weird state we're not too too far up so we don't get like ice that you could walk on but as you guys saw last video we get ice to where it like kind of covers so you can't really cast and retrieve a lure and it just like the weather fluctuates so much and it's been so cold and especially windy my fingers want to jump off the plank and freaking croak but we stay out there and trying to catch fish but you guys don't usually see that because i never catch believe me man i've been trying the best content though is yet to come. If you guys have been following the channel, you guys know what's happening in January. If you could though, man, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button on this video. That really would be appreciated. And also, if you do enjoy my videos, but you are not yet already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because trust me, man, you're gonna wanna be here when January rolls around. So if you are new here, or if you haven't heard what's going on, Kelsey and I basically have kind of like sold all of our stuff. We're moving out of this apartment in Delaware and we bought a travel trailer camper that we're gonna be going around everywhere. Fishing videos and just the overall content is going to be insane. I'm so excited, but it's just like, it's been kind of stressful. There's so much that goes into this stuff that I really didn't know and we didn't know we're finding out together. A lot of things you need to consider. There's, there's a lot of stuff. It's also very expensive and it's depreciating assets. But I mean, this is something Kelsey and I have been wanting to do like forever. Life is short. We want to get out and explore. I want to do catch and cook. Like we're going to do some crazy catch and cooks. Again, man, I will leave an email on the screen right here. If you guys have any opportunities, whether it's fishing, clamming, anything like that, anything outdoors related, let me know. Send me an email. We're going to be going pretty much around almost every Every state I think in the email subject just write the state that you're in and then yeah just let me know your Instagram and stuff in the email and let me know what you got going on I am beyond excited you guys are gonna see that it's gonna be so cool I said this before but if you guys haven't heard we're heading down south first and I want to stay in Florida for a little while so like January slash February if you're in Florida if you think you know of something you'd like to see me do down in Florida definitely let me know man I think it's just gonna be so cool I know I keep saying that but I'm excited man I'm nervous it's a big risk in a way, but I think it's going to be worth it. Let's head over here. Okay. It's actually looking pretty freaking good. It's starting to get a little creamier. These potatoes, I think they have to get a little tiny bit softer. That's looking like some clam chowder though. Black pepper as we're waiting. Little bit of salt, a little bit. All right, finishing touches. That is what clam in a can looks like. Honestly, that does not really look that bad considering the way some of those clams looked that we were catching. You guys remember from that last video, man. Some of those look like freaking straight aliens. This actually looks like meat. This looks like almost like, in a way, like ground chicken. Dude, that's starting to look like freaking clam chowder. One more thing, though. So for Christmas, my mama made like this Italian bacon kind of stuff. I'm gonna chop this up, throw it in. All right, I just threw it in there. I'm not sure. Oh gosh, turn that down. Where you get a little too fuego, that thing was burning hot. Just took it off the thing, stirred in that Italian Bacon. Ooh, you guys can't really see it. I'll have to put in a bowl here in a second. First though, let's do the smell test. One of the most important tests. I like burnt my face, hold on. Ooh, you smell that Gordon Ramsay? Ah, when I make stuff like this, I always wanna wake Kelsey up and be like, yo, look at this. Can we just take a second though? Appreciate the beauty. I know it's a big pot, it might be a little dark in there. Look at this. Look at that. Oh yeah. Thick. Oh, all right, we just bolted up. Let me stop playing, man. Let me show you guys a look here at our beautiful, freshly caught clam chowder. Now, I know I could see some of the comments being like, yo, maybe that's a little bit too thick, like, like very thick. That's kind of how I wanted it, though. Just be super meaty og donovan McNabb soup heavy style if there is one thing though with a freshly made clam chowder that you cannot eat this without ah! finishing 2020 off strong ow that is burning my freaking here's the oyster cracker taste tester i would like sit down uh normally but we like sold all our chairs and stuff look at that 
right there, man. Can you see that? Kind of. Somebody's like alarms going off outside. I feel like I need to wake Kelsey up like right now. Yo, I am not even joking. Hold on. I would say that I'm like a, uh, hello? I accidentally dumped a bag of oyster crackers. He's eating them all. I would say that I'm like a soup, like a chowder bisque connoisseur. This is the best thing I made all 2020. Mm. The potatoes, the bacon, the clams. Apparently, I was looking at recipes too. Like apparently people say it's better to make this with the clam can. I guess because of the juice and you get more clam. Which makes sense because I don't know realistically how many clams I could really catch. Mm. The limit here is like 100 something, but I'm just saying like me personally, I don't know how many I could catch. Holy crap, chef for state rating. That right there is a 10 out of 10. I'm telling you, this is the best thing I made all year. Did y'all want to bite of that, man? The oyster crackers, the bacon, the potatoes, the onion, everything else I put in. I would put some slap your mama in. My slap your mama though. I've been missing. Every time I go to the store, I forget to buy it. Holy crap, that's freaking good. Yeah, I'll leave the recipe of what I use down in the description below because I kind of followed this, but I didn't have a lot of stuff and I kind of just like winged it. I don't even know how I did that. This turned out freaking better than I could have even thought. All right, well, I think that's pretty much gonna be it here for this video today. I'm gonna devour this. I'm gonna see if she's awake and maybe, you know, something. If you guys wanna see more Kenji Cooks, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you would hit that thumbs up button, it would be much appreciated. Videos should hopefully be back to normal schedule. We have a lot of stuff like beginning, like very beginning of January in a couple of days, we're gonna be getting the camper. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. It's just a lot, of, a lot of stuff, man. We can also not forget the MVP of this video. Sir, you made this whole thing possible. Uh, we all just wanna say thank you very much. And um, yeah. Hey man, again, thank you guys so much for all the support. All I gotta say, man, so let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where